Hello class, Mr. Stone here. The lesson for this afternoon is negative exponents. Okay, this is kind of easy once you learn the basic rule of this. Okay, the way this works is when you get five to the negative two, you really just flip it. Okay, so the five goes down. Let's get the pen going, pen, pen, pen. The five just reverts. This is really five over one. Let's put it like that, okay? So that makes it a little easier. The five just reverts down to the bottom, so it becomes one over five, and then it's square. So that equals one over five times five. Five times five equals one over 25. And that's the answer. Let's square this off so the teacher knows, hey, that's my answer. Now, let's see the next one. It's three-fourths brackets, negative two, okay? What I'd do here, I'd reverse this, okay? So I'd flip these, flip this to that way, flip this to that way, okay? End up with four over three. This changes the negative two square, the negative two power to a positive. So you get a two, and you get a two here. That equals four times four, four, and three times three equals 16 over nine. That's it. Now the next one, okay, it's brackets x to the negative cube brackets to the fourth power okay let's see how you do this okay you ready the way this always worked you ready is the four was in here and times okay so it's times this okay i'm just going to put a little dot for the times instead of an x i hate the x's okay so what we're going to have now this is really can be written over one so it's going to be x to the negative twelfth over one. Okay, now but we gotta get a positive. So all you really do, you flip it. Okay, so you get one over x to the twelfth power, and that's it. Okay, that's all there was to it. Okay, just gotta learn a few rules here. Okay, now the next one, okay, it's four x brackets to the negative five times two to the second power. Okay. The way this works, this second power's got to go to both. It's got to go to the 4, and it's got to go to the x to the negative 5. So this could be rewritten, okay, 4 to the second power. Then these are times, so let's put a little dot there so you know it's times. Okay, it'd be x to the negative 5th power times 2, which would be to the negative 10th power. Okay? Now, this can be all written over one, okay? So this is all over one. So what I do here, I just flip this. I bring the x down here. The four could stay at the top. So be equals four to the second power, x to the 10th power. That equals, what's four to the second power? It's 16, okay? So it's 16 over x to the 10th power. And that's it. Let's square this off so the teacher knows, hey, that's my answer. And that's all there was. You just got to learn a few rules on the negative exponents. You just follow them along and say, oh, yeah, I can solve these. Okay. If you like this YouTube video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any mathematical friends or any kids or grandkids in school, share this with them. It might help them. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.